Hi everyone. Um, my, my name's Mark, this is Jason. We are development engineers in the Bosch UK Data Engineering Centre based in Denham. Primarily our task is to produce Jaguar Land Rover diagnostic content for Bosch EasyTronic with KTS. We also get involved in lots of other topics and today we're going to talk about Security Gateway. Come and see us on stand D40 in the middle of the Bosch stand. Uh, if you have any questions, um, we've not got much time here, so come and see us later. We've got ADAS demonstrations, hybrid and EV info, training, and the Bosch extra loyalty scheme, plus lots more. Let's go. Some of you may have seen this article in the press back in 2017 about cyber security. So some uh, online hackers were able to remotely access the vehicle networks via an OBD dongle that's used by some insurance and fleet companies. They were able to override the steering controls of the car and drive it off the road. That's obviously a safety and security worry for us all. Did anyone see that in the, in the news at the time? You're, you're aware of that. So consequently, the manufacturers started to introduce secure gateways on their cars to protect the vehicle and its data. Think of it like a diagnostic firewall on your car to protect the network and the systems from outside attacks, just like your computer at home. The knock-on effect of this protection often means that some diagnostic functions are locked on that car. On a secure gateway protected vehicle, if the gateway is locked, you might be able to read the fault codes, read the actual values, but probably you might not be able to clear the fault codes, perform actuator tests, do resets, brake pad service mode, or calibrations. We were faced with different security methods between different brands and different solutions required. So our first encounter with Secure Gateway was this Jeep Compass, November 2019. Uh, had Security Gateway installed on the car and um, Back then in 2019, to give credit to our colleagues in Italy, there was already a solution in EasyTronic. What you had to do, the instructions were in our Bosch software, you linked to the Fiat Chrysler portal, you made an account, you paid one euro for 24 hours access, and you used a little pass-through app to unlock the gateway on the car and then carry on with your diagnostics in Bosch EasyTronic. The thing about this car, now it's an opportunity for the independent aftermarket. Just coming up three years old, the MOT is going to be due, the warranty will expire, and if it hasn't already dropped out of the dealer network, it probably soon will. So it will be coming into independent garages, and that's an opportunity for all of us. Imagine having a car in for service or repair that's locked by a secure gateway, and you can't complete the job because your diagnostic tool won't do that, won't get past that gateway. Back to today, we're seeing more and more vehicles protected by some form of secure gateway. Within our Bosch EasyTronic software, there are pop-ups and information to warn and guide you through the steps required for the process of unlocking that vehicle so you can carry on and do your job. Uh, if you notice the red padlock on the tab that's highlighted, do you want to give it a point, Jason? <laughs> um, often the software will already check if the car's locked and warn you that it needs to be unlocked before you can carry on. Again, thinking of today and looking into the future, there's actually UN regulations that say from July 2022, that's next month, all new type approved vehicles must be secure and protected from cyber security attacks. Two years later down the line, in July 2024, all new vehicles, all vehicles must be protected. So we need to react as the independent aftermarket always does.
So for all of these individual security concepts from the vehicle manufacturers, workshops have to have multiple accounts, portals, IDs, payments. Today and in the future, you will have limited access to vehicles diagnostic functions without proper authorization. So on the left here, we see so many questions from the workshops about secure gateway protection, often with different answers for different brands. Registrations, logins, passwords, licenses, payments, credentials. It's a minefield. On the right, you see the concept of Bosch SDA, secure diagnostic access. That will be your single access point for secure diagnostic access. Again, on the left here, imagine the scenario without secure, without a single access point to your secure diagnostic access. You'll need separate accounts with each manufacturer for the vehicles that you want to work on. On the right there is Bosch Secure Diagnostic Access. You have an account with Bosch Easytronic and Bosch deal with the separate manufacturers on your behalf. So, there's a little video here and hopefully the sound will work. In the past, workshops have always been able to carry out vehicle diagnostics without restrictions. To protect the electronics inside new models, however, their diagnostic systems are now access protected, which usually makes it impossible to perform active diagnostic tasks, such as calibrating driver assistance systems or performing service resets. This presents workshops with both technical and administrative challenges because some vehicle manufacturers use proprietary security solutions. These can have different access criteria and payment concepts, for example, which makes diagnostics work more time-consuming, more complicated, and less efficient. But Bosch has the solution, Secure Diagnostic Access, or SDA for short. The central integrated standardized function provides quick and easy access to the protected vehicle data of participating vehicle manufacturers via AZtronic 2.0 online. It couldn't be simpler. To get access, all workshops need to do is create a Bosch ID by registering in a one-time process. They may also need to complete an online user identification step. Every Bosch ID is unique and can also be used for numerous other Bosch applications, both private and professional. SDA enables workshops to perform comprehensive diagnostics work on vehicles with access-protected electronic systems from participating manufacturers. The solution is being continually expanded to include more vehicle manufacturers. With SDA, Bosch is offering a simple, central solution that can save you time and money, and consequently, make your workshop more efficient and more competitive. Okay, we're back on. So, what do you need for Bosch SDA preconditions? You need an up-to-date and licensed EasyTronic software installation. You need a good internet connection. And you need a new generation KTS. Like this one, the 560, 590, 350, or 250. The old KTSs, which are 10, 15 years old now, can't handle the technology required to unlock the gateways. So these have been around a while now. Um, battery support is also recommended. Um, you can buy a Bosch battery support unit as well. Now in some instances, once the gateway has been unlocked with your internet connection, it may be possible to come off of the internet, carry on working for a defined period. Here we're in the hands of the manufacturers. Like it says there, Volkswagen, you might get up to 90 minutes. A Mercedes, when you come out of that system, that lock comes back. So how will SDA look within EasyTronic? Um, any EasyTronic users in the crowd? Fantastic, excellent. You see, there's a new icon at the top, which is the SDA icon. 
Now, again, more pop-ups, more information, but when you click on the icon, you have the option to register and log in to SDA. What you need is a Bosch ID. Now, you may already have a Bosch ID if you've ever bought a Bosch power tool, domestic appliance, or any other product and registered it online. It's a single sign-on across all of Bosch. Again, there's hyperlinks and help in the software for your guidance. Once you're registered and logged in, the little SDA icon at the top goes green. You can carry on. You're good to go. Now there are some manufacturer variations. Um, you notice the little padlock earlier that was red on the unlock vehicle tab. It's, it's now green. Which again is another visual indicator that that car is unlocked. This screenshot's from the new Mercedes S-Class. They call their security CBAS. That's Certificate Based Automotive Security. Bosch acts as a trust server between your diagnostic tool and the manufacturer's portal. This provides security and traceability. For the single access point, again, you need the Bosch ID. Each technician in the workshop will need a Bosch ID. Again, that's that back to traceability. Sometimes you may need a third party user identification. There's no extra cost for the Bosch ID, and so far across Europe, 16,000 users have registered for Bosch SDA. This third party user identification is, um, there's an app you can download on your phone, it's called ID Now, and you have to take your picture, provide your identification, like other things, if, if anyone's ever rented one of those little e-scooters, you have to do the same thing, take your selfie, take a picture of your driving license. Again, traceability and security. There are hints in the Easytronic program if this is needed. Um, Volkswagen, Mercedes are two of the brands that might ask you for this. Um, again, back to traceability and this um, new KYC, know your customer. Okay, more brand variations. So Fiat Chrysler was the first brand that we saw with Secure Gateway. Um, back then you had to make your own account. Now, if, if you have that account with Bosch, nothing extra to do, you can just carry on. But Bosch make the account with Fiat Chrysler. The instructions are Easytronic. So far this year, 25,000 secure gateway unlock sessions have been performed with Bosch and SDA. And you see, it, when we say Fiat Chrysler, it's um, lots of brands, Alfa Romeo, Lancia, Abarth, Chrysler, Jeep, and Dodge. Renault, a little bit different again. Currently you need to have the dongle, which is in my pocket. Um, it's quite straightforward. There's a link in the Easytronic to the Renault portal. You can order the dongle, you apply for a certificate, and it's like a pass-through app to unlock the car before you can work on it. And then you come back to your Easytronic. Clio 5 was the first car we saw this on. And uh, now Capture 2, Megane, Traffic, Espas. The new Phase 2 cars are coming with these protected gateways. Volkswagen Group, again, lots more models coming out with Secure Gateway. Um, Volkswagen call it SFD, Schutz der Fahrzeug Diagnose. It means protected vehicle diagnostics, and again, it's an encrypted firewall. The manufacturer registration costs are handled by Bosch if you're registered and signed into SDA. Sometimes on the Volkswagen group vehicles, we've seen you get a pop-up warning you to, you need to lift the bonnet to be able to have full access to the diagnostic systems. 
quite handy also because it does tell you that once you've unlocked the gateway, you could then shut the bonnet if you needed to drive the vehicle for a calibration. So other brands on the horizon, PSA, including Opel, BMW, Subaru, Toyota, Nissan, Mazda, Ford, Suzuki, Honda, Porsche. There are lots of vehicles coming online with Secure Gateway. Bosch are working with the manufacturers to find safe and approved solutions for the independent aftermarket. And on this slide here, every new car produced today has some Bosch te technology on board. This is because the vehicle manufacturers trust Bosch with their vehicle data, and we think you should trust Bosch too. Again, um, that's my last slide. I'm just going to hand over to Jason for a quick chat about some other technologies. Uh, please come and see us on the Bosch stand. If you get a chance, um, Sean Brooks from Autoglass is giving a talk at 2 p.m. at the Body Shop Hub today. That's a very interesting topic to see as well. As automotive technologies become more and more advanced, we can see the transformation between more ECUs on modern vehicles. To do this, new vehicle networks have been introduced, such as Ethernet, Flexray, and CANFD, and new communication protocols, such as DOIP and single edge nibble transfer. We also see newer, more developed ECUs being made such as ECUs that can be dual banked, which means they can receive a software over the air update on one half of the ECU, while the other half of the ECU is being used on the vehicle. And as the ECU gets updated, they switch over, and this becomes the dominant one that the car is using, and this is the one that the ECU is waiting for the next update. They also have been dual redundant, which means they work on two networks. One network, such as flex rate and the other network as high speed can. So as if one network was to fail or go down, the vehicle will still operate completely normally on the other network. That's it. Done. So I hope you've enjoyed this short presentation. If you have any questions, again, come and see us at the Bosch stand and um, we'll have a chat.